Tyler, a lot of things that were going so well for you guys the first couple of games weren't necessarily there, and yet obviously you guys win. Uh, you don't make any – you personally don't make any turnovers. Whether it was pass pro, uh, difficulty in the run game, third down when it's, you know, mostly third and long all night, and that's, that's tough sledding for you. Uh, I think there's only one called run on, on third down. Yet, again, no, no turnovers by you. You, don't, you make the, that critical mistake. How, how do you feel in takeaway where you're, you're able to win a game when a lot of things didn't go your way the way they had the first two weeks? Yeah, it's obviously tough. Um, we, going into it, um, we just got to be better in execution. We can't get in third and long, like you said. Um, got to be better on first and second down. It put us in those advantageous situations to where we're not throwing the ball a lot. Um, you know, I think I, that just goes on decisions by me. I think the O-line, you know, they played, they played well, and they, they faced a really good D-line. They had a lot of good players, uh, credit to their defense. So um, I just know we got to be better in this short week coming up. Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Tyler, how much did you get to work with Devon Williams last year? And did you kind of sense he was due for a monster game like this? Uh, me and Devin got to work uh, quite, a, quite a bit. Um, I think he's, he's just been, uh, been such an electric player in practice. And then obviously that's showing in, uh, showing in the game. So um, him and I, whether it's doing one-on-one -on -one routes after practice, um, just getting reps in with, uh, with Johnny and Red and Micah. And, uh, and then he's just kind of taking to the, taking to the game and, and learning from those guys because, you know, we're, we're still a young team and we have a lot to grow. So I was really proud of his work and, and how he showed up and, and all of our wide receivers tonight just making explosive plays. Matt Cream, 247 Sports. Tyler, you just mentioned this is a young team. Is there any positive lining out of this in which – so much inexperience on the field, and yet you found a way to grind out a win and when you didn't play at your best? Yeah, it shows a lot about our culture and character as a team. You know, we, you know, we have a lot of great leaders on this team, and we, we all just got together and just told each other we're going to fight and take this thing out. Um, we were super resilient. You know, obviously the, the win's a win, so uh, we're not happy with, with how everything turned out. And, um, but I think there's just a lot that we can grow from, a lot that we can get better on. So I'm really proud of, of how our guys fought for sure. Tyson Alger, The Athletic. What did it mean to have uh, Camp Moyer back out there, especially being able to have like meaningful connections between him, like late in the game, like when when things were needed? Uh, can you repeat that, Tyson? Unmute yourself. Just mute. What, what what did it mean to have Hunter back out there, and just the fact oh, that you guys were mean? able to have productive connections with in, in the second half for a guy who hasn't played yet yeah sorry that's a good question you cut out at first um but yeah it, it was obviously great to have all of our tight ends back Hunter uh, stepped up in a huge way on a couple of those flat routes and things like that so um, I was really proud of, of, of our tight ends work tonight it's obviously great to to have a lot of flexibility uh, when it comes to that and, and Hunter and I have, have uh have got a lot of chemistry going back to last year so it's good to have a veteran um in our lineup Ashley Conklin register guard Tyler, in the first couple of games, the defense wasn't able to get any turnovers, but today they obviously came through in waves. Um, you know, how key was that for you, and what kind of a spark does that give you guys going out in the field, you know, on a short field after getting the turnovers and stuff? Oh, it's huge. Um, we, that's what we talked about this whole week, that they're due for a turnover and, and, and some big plays, and they really uh, went out there and made that happen. Uh, it's a big momentum changer for sure, and uh, they play their butts off. So uh, hats off to them for, to, for fighting through it against a, against a good team. So. Uh, I'm really proud of the way they fought and the offensive fought as well. So I think if we, if we can limit turnovers and, and create some on, on defense, uh, we should we should be uh, good to go for the rest of the way out just because that's such a momentum change in the game, whether you're on offense or defense. James Crepia, Oregonian. Coach was talking about how much pressure they brought on first down, in particular a lot on second down as well. The three of the four sacks came there. Again, tough, tough sledding for you uh, in, in those spots. How much of that was – unusual or, or different than what you'd seen on tape from them or, or how much of that, what, why is it that it was just that that presented such problems? I mean, I realize it's pressure. It's supposed to present problems, but why was it they were so effective? Uh, I think it just goes to, to execution. Uh, on by, uh, we, were, we were prepared for all the pressures they brought. Um, they brought, they obviously uh, did a great job of it and played hard um, because you can dial out the perfect protection, um, but they, they can also be one guy one-on-one, -on -one, and I can also make a perfect throw. So there's a lot of nuances that come with it. Um, and we just uh, – we did our best preparing for it. And I felt overall um, we had a good scheme going into it. We just got to execute better um, on, on my part, and, and that just got to be better going into this next week on making some decision-making and, and, and eye discipline and things like that. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. 
Tyler, you targeted Devin on over a third of, of your pass attempts today. Um, what was it you saw from him that, you know, I guess, that allowed you to do that? And, and what does he provide maybe that's different from some of the other receivers you have on this team? Um, I don't think it's uh, me trying to target one wide receiver per se. It's just it's just really going off what the defense is giving me and in, 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 in the play within the confines of the offense. So obviously Devin Devin had his name called quite a bit this week, and, and he he definitely stepped up big time. So I think that's the, the beauty of our wide receiver room is that no one guy is just gonna to take control, uh, but they will if they have to. So it's just great to have a lot of those weapons out there, and and obviously having connections with uh, Johnny and, and Jay Red and and plenty of those other guys like um, like Chris Hudson. So. Uh, it, it's just definitely big to have the, that trust in them and, and know that no matter how much uh, practice they've got with me throughout, throughout the week, that they're going to step up. Tyson Alger. What's the first thing that you want to dissect on film from this game, like when you, when you go home and, and turn it on? Um, I think some of the decision-making um, as far as in the run game on some of the, the read option stuff and then obviously in the pass game as far as just getting it out earlier out of my hands and taking what the defense gives me. I think we did a better job of that in the second half, but realized when they're bringing pressure just to, to maybe get it out quicker and let our guys, uh, let our guys run because I think that's, that was the key and then we focused on that for sure. And then, and then mainly just finishing those drives. We drove down the field quite, quite a bit um, and we just got to put it in the end zone. We have time for two more. James Krupia, the Oregonian. There was kind of a, a feast or famine aspect of it on, on those early downs, Tyler, and that when you had the big completions, they came mainly on first and second down, and they were they were huge. I think like probably over 85% of your yards came on passes of 20 plus yards. I mean, they were, you really uh, did when you when you did capitalize, you capitalized in a big way against their pressure. So evaluate your, your first thoughts and decision making in terms of passing uh, against that pressure because you were clearly very effective. Yeah, I think as far as it goes in, in just in the short game and stuff like that, making some of those quicker decisions uh, and just taking what they give me. I think we, we did well in creating explosive plays, uh, but I think just, just taking what they give me and, and moving on to the next read and, and, just, and just being decisive in my decisions. Um, I think some of, those, some of those decisions are sacks. Um, that's on me as far as I could just throw it away earlier or get to the second read on a couple of those screens. So I'll take full responsibility for that, and I think we're just going to work on it going into the next week. Last question goes to Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Tyler, it, it kind of sounds funny to say, but the regular season is half over. Uh, do you feel like you guys are in good position, obviously being 3-0 and and just being able to play three games where, you know, so many teams have not been able to do that? Yeah, obviously we're we're very fortunate to ha to have a season this year, but we know we're not we're never satisfied. It, it doesn't matter how many games we're going to play this season. We know we got to be better, whether we had spring ball or summer practice or a short and fall camp. You know, we faced a lot of adversity this year, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Everybody's going through it. So I think just how how our guys have handled that pressure, and just knowing that pressure is a privilege on us, and and just taking it uh, each week and um, and just and just rolling with it. So I think we're we're not really satisfied where we're at. We know we can be a whole lot better, and we have to be a lot better. So. I'm excited to, to, to go back to practice and to work tomorrow and this week. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate your time. Nice job tonight. Thank you, guys.